What's up everybody, this is Nightwing2303 from SneakerFiles.com uh, coming at you today with a late review on the True Blue 3. Um, going to do things a little bit differently today. Uh, usually I do a review um, when they're dead stock and brand new. Um, today I actually wore these all day so um, not only will I be reviewing the shoe and comparing it to the Cement 3 back here um, that released in January, but um, also how they held up with an entire day of walking around through San Francisco um, with no uh, shoe trees or decreasers or any of that stuff, um, just completely stock as is. So, with that said, let's get right into okay, it. Okay, so these are the True Blue 3s for uh, 2011. Um, the last time these were released was in 2009 and it was international only. Um, I personally was extremely pissed off about that. I really, really wanted this shoe um, back then and I just, I just did not want to pay $250 plus shipping um, you know, for, for this particular shoe. I, I just didn't find that that price was, was worth it. Um, However, I'm very happy that I got this pair, especially because I love the packaging that they're doing with the threes this year. Um, I think that they are extremely awesome, um, being that they're throwback, uh, you know, style packaging and all of that stuff. So I am glad that I waited, and um, I actually, I actually picked this pair up in the store on release day right after lunch. It was probably like 12:30 or so. Um, it was the last size they had available. I did purchase them online that night um, at midnight, or I think it was like nine, nine o'clock here in California. Um, but uh, I was a little bit um, impatient, I guess you could say, so I just couldn't wait. So uh, I went down to the store and picked up another pair. Um, usually, I don't really double up on anything, um, but I actually really like this shoe so I'm kinda glad that I did double up. I have a really bad track record with Air Jordan 3's. Um, every single pair I've ever ever owned I just completely obliterated them for some reason so um, but uh, you know so I'm glad that I doubled up on this one especially being that this is my favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 3 series. So with that let's get into a real quick review um, I, I'm going to try really hard not to talk too much. So, um, overall thoughts on the sneaker in general is that the quality is fantastic. Um, I, I was impressed with the, uh, the, the leather that they had used on the cements here. Um, these, these have a shoe tree in them, the one, the one that they came with, that cardboard one. And um, you can see that the creasing is pretty much inevitable with with the with the shoe um, and uh, you know the leather on each pair I mean I thought that this was pretty decent being that it was you know really soft leather um, and all of that stuff there's no shoe tree in the true blues right now by the way and um, you know the true blues is a little bit stiffer but um, it doesn't have that glossiness to it so every, everybody knows that, that the cements had that glossy kind of sheen to it like the Orions and the Varsity Red 6's. Um, it's also really really soft here on the upper. Um, the True Blues is a little more stiff but still a pretty soft leather and I actually prefer this leather better. Um, they also put a really shiny leather here on the rand around the midfoot um, whereas this is a flat leather and um, they use that same type of leather here on the tongue um, the only thing that they used that shiny leather on was the top of the tongue, um, but I really, I really don't care. Um, you know, even the tongue, tongue shape here, which is probably not going to be shown that well, but um, you know, I, I prefer this little like it's already like cupped and everything. There's more padding in in my cements, um, but this one I just like the way that it looks better when you're wearing it. Uh, versus this one here. Um, the elephant print, it's it's pretty much the same. I mean, there's really not much, you know, comparing that you can do to it. So, um, these these threes, I've only worn them a few times and they're just really dirty. I mean, like I said, I, have, I don't know what I do to these things, but I just can't keep a pair of threes clean 
to save my life. So, um, at least I wear my shoes. So, you know what I mean? I get my money's worth. But, uh, you know, overall, I just, I just think that, that this version here, um, com I mean, these just take them out of the picture. Um, this here has been the best release that they've done this year, in my opinion, besides the Air Jordan 1 band, which you can't technically consider a release since it was not dropped everywhere. Um, but I'm not going to go over what the shoe looks like and everything like that. You can just pretty much see it here. Um, everybody else has done videos on these already as well, so I'm pretty sure that you guys have already checked that out. Um, I just wanted to basically give you my thoughts on the shoe. Um, I think that they're fantastic. I think that the, the quality of the leather is really nice. It's got that nice, soft, kind of uh, tumbled upper. Um, not as soft as the cements that I just I just said that, but um, it's not as soft, but it holds up a lot better. Like I said, this has the shoe tree in it, um, and you can see the wrinkles in there. And then I'll grab the other pair here. So that's the left one, and there's wrinkles there. There's also wrinkles in the sides. So um, this actually this is how they came. Um, and then you got some creasing stuff like that right here in the little rand there. Um, now I wore these True Blues before I did this uh, video. Um, I wore them up to San Francisco and I wore them all day long. Um, I'll walk around at San Francisco. I don't, I don't take, uh, I don't, I mean I take the car up there but um, you know once I get there I park the car and then we just walk everywhere. And again there's no shoe trees inside the shoes and this is what they look like after a full day I was probably there for about four or five hours, maybe a little bit more. Um, and this is what they look like without using anything. So I think that these are going to hold up a heck of a lot better than the white and cements as far as their longevity goes. Um, you know, so uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing that I will say, this is just a small tip, um, but like with this one here, when I first tried the shoe on when I got it, um, underneath the middle section right here in the shoe, like inside, um, I felt like there was some bumps or whatever as if like the sole inside was uneven. Um, I'm used to that happening on, on quite a few different pairs. Um, what it actually is, uh, is the, uh, there, let me pull the sole and sole out, but, um, so hopefully you can see that in there, but inside the insole they have the threading from the toe, all of this threading that comes around right here that attaches the forefoot to the uh, front of the cup of the outsole. Um, they thread that all the way through and then they line that down the center of the sneaker here and then they put glue on the insole and then they lay it inside the, inside the shoe. Um, if that feels a little bit uncomfortable to you, just take the insole out uh, carefully remove the threading and then push it all the way up to the front of the toe and then put your insole back and that way everything inside will be completely even. Um, you won't feel like that little bit of a, a raised kind of feeling underneath your foot. It feels a little bit funny at first. Um, so uh, I actually left mine in there because I wanted to see how it would feel during the day um, after you know wearing them for so many hours. Uh, with it in place and you eventually get used to it but you know like I said if you don't like the way that it feels right away just pull the insole out pull the uh, the threading and push it back up to the toe and then put your insole back in um, that's pretty much the only the only tip that I have for you um, about this shoe so I, I I'm pretty sure that this was a general release um, actually it was a general release because it came out in all sizes and um, uh, you know, so hopefully everybody got their pair. If they didn't, um, hopefully they're not going to be too much aftermarket. And as far as flaws go, um, I actually only had one flaw on the shoe, which is right here. You might not be able to see it, but there was some there was some scratches right on the leather right there. It's so small though. It's I I really don't care. And like I said, my track record with threes, um, I'm probably going to mess these up way more than Jordan Brand ever could, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to wear these to death.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed the quick review on the, uh, not the cement, but the uh, True Blue 3s. Here's another quick view of them. Um, these are my, my favorite of the 3s personally, and I'm very happy that I picked these up. So, um, you know, it's a great shoe. Um, if you have the chance to pick these up, if they're still available, I, you know, I highly recommend it. Um, these are fantastic, especially compared to the ones that you see back here. So, um, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, check out Deftronic, his channel, deftronic.com, Soul Real TM, Arrow Pooch, sneakerfiles.com has a new channel. You can see that and uh, subscribe to them on my channel. Um, and uh, you can check out my site as well. I'll be doing some updates uh, probably tonight um, and tomorrow on that and uh, my, my, my website is nightwing2303.com I'm going to be going over the uh, what are they the LeBron 8PS some of the stuff that I missed as well as giving you some teasers to what I'm currently playing in now and some of my thoughts on that particular shoe at this very moment so stay tuned we got more stuff coming and again thank you guys for watching greatly appreciate it um, and until next time guys see you later